Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to batch upload files to Amazon S3. So let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and in this video we are going to we may may take help of the AWS command line interface which is also known as CLI to access Amazon S3. We will do this so that we can easily build our own scripts for backing up the files to the cloud and retrieve them as needed. Uh, this will make automating the backup process faster, more reliable and more programmatic. So if you would, let me just log start with the creating a user, an IAM user. Okay, so when you click on IAM, AWS Management Console will open up in a new browser window so that you can keep this uh, console open. So when the screen loads as it has been loads, we will enter the username and the password to get started. So in the IAM, we click on the users tab. We click on add user. And uh, if, if you do not want to create a new user and if you have an existing user, like the I have an Asa user and if this comes up in under the security credentials there is an option which allows you to give the programmatic access to the user permission that is straight or right well let me just create a new user because I forgot the password of this user so to programmatic access I'm not giving in the console access to this user on next to click on it existing policies database trading access next create a user okay when you click on create a user you click on download credential csv it will be in my download folder with the name of credentials that csv click on the close you will be to here if you are if you have not installed AWS CLI I would suggest you to do it now you can install the download and run the Windows installer 64 or 32 bit and if you have already installed it open up the command prompt AWS type in AWS configure it will come up with the hold on now when it asks you to AWS access key this is the predefined profile that I configured earlier but for now you will enter this now secret access key would default region US East 1 you can type in any region let's leave it US East 1 default output format is JSON this is configured now in this now then in the next step we will use the AWS CLI to create a bucket in S3 and a copy the file to that bucket so creating is bucket is optional if you have already have a bucket that you want to use so uh, I have already these buckets defined but no not a problem we can do it so if you if you'll write a WS S3 MB make bucket or S3 colon where it has backup bucket see how it goes so it is picking up the region it is picking up picking up my access key and everything illegal constraint exception when calling the create bucket of the individual location constraint is unavoidable the region the region is okay so if I write AWS I am sorry I was typing in the wrong command it's AWS S3 API create bucket the bucket name is Asher bucket and the region is US East 1 so if I go to my console and uh, refresh it I have a bucket called Asher bucket and I have not uploaded anything here now if you want to upload anything and to upload the folder would be AWS S3 
copy c colon colon initials for cav and i need to copy it to a socket let's see how it goes see it has done it let me just uh, log on to the portal it says it has done it let me just log on to the portal and check i am on to the portal i am inside the asr bucket let me refresh it i see credentials dot csv so this is how you create a bucket using aws s3 cli this is how you upload the files to aws s3 cli i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries let me know in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel till next time have a great day bye bye